So, uh, a powerful work of art touches your senses, gets onto your skin. It is when you feel what you see that nudges you into thinking further. This deduction happens organically as you read an impactful book or article, absorb a painting, listen to music, or watch the ocean waves flow to eternity. It can even happen when you flip through the pages of gallery. This fourth volume dedicated to the art and culture of the Philippines. Uh, I would request you to turn your chair so you may look at every, every slide. Um, and this work is very compelling. It's, it's the work of Maxine Sihiko, who is a well-known artist and very young artist and poet in the Philippines. So, next. Uh, so here we have words and images, it's the voice of gallery, and uh, I'm afraid again it's all racing. Uh, we have Filipino artists like, uh, yeah. you, you will read the names, okay, let it race. You will read the names of the Filipino artists we have carried. Regions 
is a holistic understanding of its cultural diversity, encouraging curiosity and understanding. Japan, Afghanistan, Golan, Taiwan are some of the regions, okay? We've also dedicated entire issues to reventing ideas. Poetry, contemplations of hope and peace, discourses on migration, and resistance. Migration and resistance. The radical Chinese artist, Ai Weiwei, for instance, made a temporary studio in 2016 on the Greek island of Lesbos to highlight the plight of thousands of weary refugees trying to enter Europe. His performance photograph lying face down on the Lesbos beach, posing as the tragically drowned child and could be, created controversies, yet it also aroused debate on the refugee crisis. It questioned the notion of the other and defined the civilized idea of what constitutes we. This is but an instance of a creative tension that could engage the world to expand its vision. Then into history, we have Picasso's iconic Enrica, his most powerful commentary on political crime. A symbol of protest, it documented the devastation caused by the Nazis on innocent citizens in the Basque town. very powerful until today. Should we then curb creative tensions? Should we then not apply art forces as resistance? I personally think not. We need to continue being a voice for reason, even if it impacts one soul in a crowd of 500. This is why we write poetry. Fuse is an earlier book that was taught at Towson University and when seeing is believing is my current book, which has traveled um, all over. In, in this book, I, I uh, respond to images. Kashmir, for instance. Kashmir is in turmoil for the last 30 years, but right now it's going to the worst, to the worst time ever. And this poem is my, that poem was my response to what's happening in Kashmir. I don't know if I have time to read these poems, but maybe you could pick up a book from downstairs. This, this poem is about, um, I'm trying to raise, I've just been warned. Uh, this poem is, is about a woman at the window, and it's the universal story about uh, how a, wor uh, a woman can be framed by a window and how she tries to come um, out of that frame. Uh, next, the mother tongue, which is why I'm here. This is the, the theme of this year's Spell International. That is Tagore's poem uh, on, on how even if nobody leaves you, you walk alone. And my, my response to that is the mother tongue, which is Bengali, which is mine, but I seem to have lost it over the years. Is it time for me to read the poem? Marjorie has very kindly translated this poem, but can I read it in English? Is there time? forest 
syllables, mere murmurs of distant seas on the map of my summer years. It flowed back again with the late tide rushing in to claim its bank of memories of a tongue bruised and lost in time. It flowed back again with the music of its cadence echoing in corridors where they had once nestled. And I dust away the fugitive years and shine the light of lost language on the map of my autumn years, which is now sweet. Sweet is the sound of a mother tongue. It's, uh, all I can say is it's total insanity. I am insane because uh, I do everything myself from uh, conceiving, editing, designing every page of gallery, doing the artworks and publishing. I do it all myself. When do I write poetry? I write poetry at airports. Um, <laughs> when I'm taking a break in between work and um, in the middle of the night. I think that's when all creative people become vampires. <laughs> so that's when I become one too. And I also curate art shows.